The Story of Beth and John they met at a place called The Bishop, which may or may not be a nonprofit organization for children. They met through a mutual friend named Rath. Their first date included going to a Tampa Bay Rays game where they tailgated outside the stadium. John was in the second year of law school at Stetson and had recently put down a non-refundable deposit to study abroad in England. He didn't go. John finishes law school when Beth goes to med school in Tallahassee. We survived this for two years and then we finally get to live together in Sarasota where Beth works at Sarasota Memorial Hospital and I work for two different law firms. Beth graduates med school but before doing so ranks her favorite programs in preparation for match day she finds out on stage where she's going to be doing her residency. Beth gets Arnold Palmer Hospital in Orlando and is now a doctor in the happiest place on earth. And I'm pretty happy too, as I don't have to sit for the bar exam again. We buy a beautiful home in Orlando and there's plenty of room for our dog Zoe to run. And in case you're wondering how I propose, here's how it happened. I called Beth's mom asked if I could have a surprise party. She graciously agreed. And with the help of her friends Paige and MJ, who are the real heroes of this story, the party went off without a hitch. Beth was truly surprised. The guests were in the first surprise themselves because during speeches I said, how can I convey the indescribable love I have for Beth Coughlin? I'll try to do it using only seven words. I then went to her mom, who handed me the diamond engagement ring in a symbolic gesture of her giving her blessing. And then I said those seven words, Elizabeth Ellen Coughlin, will you marry me? And she said, yes. 